How's it going, guys? And welcome to a brand new series called Yu-Gi-Oh! Deck Destruction. In this series, my friend Paul and I will be taking a chance by spinning the Wheel of Archetypes. Whatever we land on, we must build a deck around that archetype as pure as possible and go head-to-head -head in a best-of-three match. The winner of each episode gets to keep using the same deck that they pulled, while also getting to spin from a wheel which has various prizes on it, while the loser gets to choose to either ban a card or destroy the opponent's deck entirely, which means that they must spin a new deck and eliminates that archetype from the wheel for good. So sit back and enjoy because this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Deck Destruction. What is up everybody? Paul here and we are back in the winner's circle about to spin our winner's wheel and we are so, so happy because we managed to beat Gory Plains without access code talker. We used our cyber stack and just laid the smack down on him. And what does that mean for us? Well, it means of course we're going to be getting a another crack at this winner's wheel, seeing what we can get. Unfortunately, it also means that Codec, our kind of the bread and butter of our deck, has been banned. Uh, that's going to be rough, if I'm honest. However, hopefully we'll get something really, really good on this staple wheel. And, you know, can potentially... Well, what I'm hoping to do, honestly, let me tell you. I'm looking to get a third win in a row. I think that would be fantastic. If we can bring our cyber stack to a close, bookend it with win 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 that'd be awesome so i'm gonna have to cook up something spicy for later on but for right now we're about to spin the wheel and let's see what we get for the rest of the series okay so we are spinning we are slowing down and we are going to get Ooh. okay so it looks like we're getting an archetype respin that's going to be really, really handy, if, I, if I'm completely honest with you. I think that's going to be really good. We already have a couple of deck guards. So, if we can potentially just find our way onto a good archetype, we're going to be able to protect it. And we are going to be able to ride that to almost series end if we go on another three-game winning streak. Oh. But don't want to look too far ahead. I'm going to go and brew up something cool, and I will see you later. I'm having a hard time, guys, gals, and our non-binary pals. This is looking a little rough for good old gory planes here. You know, I, I, I don't think I've had a single win streak. I don't think I have. I think I have. Paul is the only one that has been winning, like getting a win streak. And that needs to change starting today because I'm tired of it. We are going to spin something, and I'm going to at least hold a win streak. That is all I care about. And I'm hopefully not going to have to use an archetype respin or anything like that. We're just going to get something nice, something playable right off the bat. Let's go ahead and spin that wheel. I didn't click it. There we go. Please. Please. Literally anything good. Oh, ah, oh, shit. That this is actually, yeah, we're going for it. No, we're a hundred percent taking that. We are a hundred percent. I honestly think. Mythical Beasts are a very strong pure deck. I mean, you've got Jackal negating monster. Like, okay, you, this is it. This is, I, I got a good feeling about this, guys. We're gonna win. We're gonna kick some friggin' ass. Let's go! All right, and here we are with the deck. Now, this one actually wasn't super complicated to try and build. Um, usually when it came to, like, Mythical Beasts, I know some people probably know them because they actually were used mainly as a package when Electromite was around because you could do Cerberus, uh, activate in the scale, pop Cerberus to get Jackal King. Jackal King could then pop to then summon the Cerberus, which would put a Pendulum on the board. Then you normal summon any Pendulum and then boom, there's your Electromite. And then also just because Jackal King was also played in a wide variety of stuff because of the fact that it can negate monster effects just by removing two spell counters from anywhere. So they have seen a lot of playability. And honestly, a lot of the other mythical beast cards aren't bad. 
Like, I mean, ba Basilisk lets you recycle stuff from your extract back into the deck to draw a card, and then also bounces stuff uh, back to your hand from the extra deck, um, or from the Pendulum Zone or the extract to your hand, so you can use them again just for more spell counters. Deucer recurs stuff from the graveyard and also can do some battle phase tricks, which that part isn't super important. Garuda is insane. Um, not only is it spell and trap removal and also gets itself out of the scale for more spell counters, but it is a hand trap. When your opponent normal or special summons a monster, you remove three spell counters from anywhere on the field, summon this card from your hand, then you bounce that opponent's monster. It's literally a hand trap compulse. This card is insane. Not only that, but Jackal, the level one, summons anything that, like, it summons any mythical beast from your deck. Which is crazy! That literally tutors out your Cerberus, tutors out your Jackal King if you need negates. Institution is crazy! This card is insane! Like, this card is obnoxious. Like, it searches any Pendulum monster, basically. It just add a monster in your deck with a level of that you can place a spell counter on it. It searches the entire deck. That's what matters. I, I think we have a good chance, and honestly, even if, let's say, worse comes to worse, uh, he does ban, like, Cerberus, which, which that would suck. I feel like we have a lot of things that we can do with this deck moving forward. I just hope we get one win under our belt. That is the goal. I would like to at least win again, but we will see. Anyways, let's go ahead and see what Paul's got for us today. What is up, everybody? So, this is our deck, and I think it's pretty good. So, obviously, without Codec, we're at a huge disadvantage. However, I labbed out a couple of different combos, and I honestly think this deck, as it is right now, is playable. So, let's go ahead and just run through real quick. I'm going to show you some of the important stuff. Obviously, Parallel Exceed is going to be super important. I found out Code Exporter is actually better than I thought it was, and... I'm running breakthrough skills. Now, breakthrough skill has a couple of different utilities that you might see during the games, hopefully if it works well. But the idea is I'm going to be attempting to wall up a little bit with Deco Talk or Heat Soul, and I'm also going to use Cyber's Clock Dragon as my win condition. Now, this guy can get up to an insane amount of attack, upwards of 20,000. That's going to be more than enough to one-shot an opponent. However, it also mills, and I was like, well, what other cards are there that I can take advantage of if I'm milling them? And Breakthrough Skill was a really fantastic option, in my opinion. It's going to allow us to prevent any sort of battle phase shenanigans that he's got on his monsters. And we've got some stuff like MST to just kind of take care of back row. I think this is going to be a good deck, and I'm really, really optimistic for this. So, I will see everybody in the game. Wish me luck doesn't do the coolest things that I want, but that is fine, I feel. What we'll do is I'll go ahead and activate. This will give away what I'm playing. The Mythical Institution. Okay, so what is this? So, uh, mythical Beast Pendulums. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it is. It is an interesting deck that is for certain so if i do this activate that i think that puts me in position why am i playing this guy again <laughs> that's uh, what i like to hear no it's not bad it's not bad okay <laughs> okay so we've got jackal. a pendulum guy okay jackal what's this guy do if you have no card in your <laughs> other zone you can target one face up card you control you can place a counter on destroy them and place a counter on. okay yeah so, so all the mythical on beasts thing. Yeah, so all the mythical beasts have pendulum effects where there can't be a card in the other zone and they can do stuff by like destroying themselves. Okay. So this guy just puts another spell counter on. So we got three on the mythical institution. Alright, we'll activate Medusa. Okay, so what's she do? I can take a two spell counters from the field, remove them, target a face of monsters, attack and defense become halved. It's pretty garbage. <laughs> oh, it's not even a quick effect. No. Oh, wait, yeah, it is. Okay, you can remove... Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. But it's once per turn during the battle phase. Okay. Mm hmm That's interesting. We'll scale up Dragonox, the oh, Empowered Warrior. Do. Wait, you're running Empowered Warriors? It's not an archetype. Get get wrecked, loser. <laughs> it's not? 
No, there is no in like na it's just like it was like the first wave of pendulum stuff. Okay. Remember it was like a starter deck or something like that? Honestly, I don't. I don't remember <laughs> that at all. But that's but yes. that's not a that's not a you problem, that's a me problem. I just I don't know. It was like what? Well, I'll activate Medusa, and Medusa's probably going to be stuck in the extra deck for- Wait, why did I activate Medusa? What's wrong with me? No! <laughs> wait, what? How? I shouldn't have activated that, because I can't destroy it now. <laughs> Woo! Your turn. Okay, sick. Yeah. So, now we just need to kill you. Please don't. That would be mean. Uh, so we're normal summoning this guy. You always open this little bitch. <laughs> well, I'm running three of it. It got unlimited. <laughs> oh, that's right. It did, didn't it? Yeah. I wouldn't cheat you. Yeah, that's right. No codec for you this time. Let's go. I think we'll be okay. Activate this. Pitching. Dinet mining. We don't need that card. Oh my God. You're still on the ritual shit. Don't worry about it. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I think we... Then go. You utter fool. You're giving me so many spell counters. I'm giving you like one. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can deal with you having a single spell counter on that. Piece. You fool. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's pretty oh cool. boy. Yep, for the- Ah, you fool! Yeah, what a fool I am. Um... Another counter! There's no way you have a hand! That can- Okay, then, you know, that's fair too. Thank you, thank you. So I think we use this guy. Oh shit, I can't- Why can't I target that guy? Oh, it's monsters, I think. Yeah. Oh, it is, isn't it? Oh, well. Um, you can have this back. That's fine. So then we may No, my spell counters. Uh... So can I stop that card? That's the annoying thing. Aha. Uh -huh. What? Oh uh, yeah, I have uh, optimization. You couldn't activate it then. You can activate it now if you want. I'm not dead here. Nah. Uh I I thought I could bounce your uh Dragonox. I think you're gonna let this happen? That's I'm not dead. Okay. Fair enough. Um I am perfectly okay. I am chilling. Plus firewall's bounce is gone, and it's once wall face up on the field, so I'm not bent out of shape. Best possible thing to draw. Holy oh, shit. Congrats. Wavering eyes. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good card. We will do that, and I will get... I think we're gonna go... Let's grab ourselves Mythical Beast Master Cerberus. Okay. Oh. So this is this is, uh, this is is uh gonna be interesting. Can you OTK from here? Like, if things go optimally for you? Mm hmm. Uh, I don't think I can OTK, but I can do a lot of damage. Okay. Let's see what you got. So, we'll do Insti institution is actually a crazy card. So I remove any spell counters once per turn. Add a add a monster that I can put spell counters on whose level equals the number of counters removed. It's not just mythical bees. Oh, that seems pretty cool. It is so good. I will go ahead and normal summon out the jackal. What's jackal do? do uh, I useful. can remove three spell counters. Tribute it, summon a mythical beast effect monster from the deck. That's pretty cool. That we'll go ahead and do. We'll remove the stuff off of that. And we grab... Is this like, uh... An... Oh, Jackal King. What's this guy do? Let's see. He gates me... monster effects by removing two counters. Okay, cool. Activate Cerberus. And that's the one that lets you add a level 7 or lower. Which will put more counters on the institution. <laughs> add a Jackal King. Golly. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that's a thing. Activate Jackal King. We'll destroy it. 
little bit better next time. Okay, so Master <laughs> Cerberus is here. And... Can't be destroyed by card effects with four more spell counters. I can move four spell counters from the field, target a monster you control, banish it, and he gains attack. That seems pretty good. Now, now while it is good, I cannot target Transcode nor the Firewall, I don't believe. While this card is co-linked, it and its co-linked monsters gain 500 on your opponent can't target them with card effects. Yeah. Unfortunate. But I believe we're fine. Okay. What we'll do here... We'll go ahead and we'll activate this Medusa. And that's the one that destroyed it. Special it's... Sonic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got it. Not very useful right now, but... Uh... Okay, fair enough. Just for counters. We'll go ahead and activate Cerberus. Okay. One, two, three, four. Banish the Clock Wyvern. Oh. Or not. That is also the cool. Well, shit. <laughs> that is definitely not what I expected. Um... <laughs> There's actually a reason that I'm running breakthrough skills specifically, and it is for this archetype. But I'll, I'll show you later. We'll crash Cerberus into transcode. Uh, yeah. Okay. Jack, we can go into clock. And your turn, my friend! Things are looking a little spooky for me. The following turn. I guess I'm just gonna attack over this. No! And you're down to 300. Haha, <laughs> I'm in danger. And we passed turn. <laughs> All right, game. Wow. That would have been crazy if I didn't have this fucking heart in my extra deck right now. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll take off four counters here. And we will grab the Basilisk. <laughs> this guy is the most niche card I've ever read in my life. We're going to take off some counters. I am going to put this motherfucker back in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to do this. To add more counters? Or, oh, wait, no, this is a different guy. Okay. Yeah, he's the one that adds. Okay, we'll I'm with you. We'll get another copy of Jackal King from deck to hand. We will then activate the Jackal King. Destroy him to get. I wish I had something to like. Gain attack or something, but I do not, unfortunately. We'll do this. Okay, so get the big lad's back. Yeah. So you can banish something. One, two, three, four. That's actually. Uh, does that just kill me? Yeah, I think you do. I think that just kills me. Is it? I think it's like a hundred. I think it's like a hundred, two hundred over a game. Hold on. Wait. Yeah. Woo! It. Dang. I thought I had that one. Let's go. <laughs> okay. The mythical beasts are here. So we I don't go. like hearing that. I'm gonna go upstart. That's a good card. Thank you for the life points. Fuck yeah, this. no problem. Okay. Ah, uh, the boy is here. Yeah, this guy's good. I mean, we'll see what you got going on. Okay, I really would have preferred not get that, but let me lose some. Okay, we'll activate Mythical Beast Garuda. Is that new? I don't recognize that not, one. Yeah, Maybe... it can't, or no, it's, it came out in the same support as everything, but this guy's pretty cool because he just pops back row. Oh, fantastic. Get wrecked! <laughs> Woo! We're gonna activate our boy, the Jackal King. Oh god. You're going to 
activate him to get this copy of Garuda to the field. I'm not sure why you put that there, but I, I, I'm going I don't to take know the either. opportunity. I I don't know why I did that either. Can we just can we pretend that didn't happen? No. <laughs> uh well shit! It's okay, it's just a body, so I don't get OTK'd, hopefully. Oh. We're gonna activate Mythical Bestiary. You can mill two cards, put two spell counters on them. Okay, so that just and I lets you get I'm, your yeah. counters. I unfortunately misclicked. I meant to activate this first. Oh no! The power of the Guardians! So... Spell counter on. Okay. Over time, I will become strong, motherfucker. <laughs> and I pass. Um, I'll draw an extra card. Sure. Okay. So now I'm just wondering what your back row is. Let's see. Uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That's what you think. Yeah, that is what I think. <laughs> That's why I said I think. <laughs> that is exactly what I think. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> That's what you thought you thought. So I think we make this. And wait and see what your back row is. You fool! Okay. Uh, so your effect is to remove the counters, special summon him, return the opponent's monster. Okay. It bounces the firewall. That seems pretty good. So I will bounce. God damn it. Back to your hand. Shit. Oh my God. You're doing this shit again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's cool. The fucking <laughs> clock smart toy. God damn it. Yeah, my smart toy. This uh, is smart toy. Oh my god. And you could just. Oh, you could just bounce again. Uh, So that's once per turn. But. Oh, yeah. The other er effect. Errata. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> but I can do the other thing. Oh my god. Yeah. I, I think I, I think I lose. Yeah, that's the plan. But I gotta kill you hard. So what's your back row, I wonder? Is this the part where I hit the surrender button? Yeah, this is the part where you hit the surrender button. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> ah! Damn it! Okay. Hopefully this time that won't happen. He's not like a game show host. <laughs> Hopefully this time it that won't happen. happen. <laughs>Ah, crap. That's what I was hoping you wouldn't do. Ooh. Normal summon the boy. The jackal. Is a jackal. Is it a jackal? Oh, you got the freaking continuous spell oh, again. I yeah, I do. We'll go ahead and we'll activate the mythical bestiary. So oh, we can crap. put more counters onto the board here. But we'll then activate jackal. Bouncing him. Summon out the Jack the Jackal King. I hate it. <laughs> um, set a card. I don't have a choice. I'll activate Power of the Guardians. Guess counters. Okay, so he's got two counters. Yes. So you can negate one thing, right? Yep. This is still kind of annoying for me. Ah, <laughs> Jackal wow. King is a good card. <laughs> Actually, normal summon this guy. And not use his effect. Why? Why? Why wouldn't you want to use your effect? So I can use this effect. Oh, true. Yeah. And then we do a little chain dealy. Yep. Yep. I cannot stop that. So then we get our copy of. What do I want off of this? <laughs> That's that's kind of where I'm at, honestly. 
without codec, there just aren't a lot of like great signet spells. Like optimization's cool because of the normal summon, but that's like the only other one I can really think of. Ooh. Whoa. What are you doing? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I have an idea. It'll oh, be cool. Joy. Oh! I forget they have a freaking counter trap. I think here we'll flip up the MST. Okay, I was wondering what that was. Yeah, That's I, fine. I, I do not want you to get another summon onto the board. Okay, fair. That's annoying for me, but it's not the worst thing in the world. I think worst things have happened by banishing our pot. That's a good call. That's a that's a very good card to hit. Because you bring it back. Or, okay. I bring this back. Yeah. I think that is the best thing I could do in that situation, I believe. It's annoying. It's definitely annoying for me. Uh, that's okay. So then... I can definitely, I can definitely tell you, I do not have a way to kill or anything right now. This is looking a little rough for your boy. Oh wait, shit. That wait, was a mistake. Hold on. Whoops. Oh, I thought I thought it was just if it declared an attack because it just says. Whoops. <laughs> Woo! Yep, I read that wrong. When the Whoops. going gets tough, the tough get going. Oh shit. Okay, so there's two of them on there. Um. Breakthrough skill that guy. Fringe. Well, it's nice because it removes all your counters. Yeah, it removes all the ones off of him, but power still has one. Yeah. Guess I don't have a choice. We'll just go into attack. Dang. Both, I I done goofed on that one. Both of them will activate. Oh, that in. was a that was horrible. I can't believe I misread that. Ugh. I'm getting stronger. You are. That's problematic for me. Take one counter off of one of the guardians and attempt to search for the jackal. Yep. That screws me up. And we will pass. I honestly, at, at, at first, I was not considering playing Power of the Guardians at all. I was like, wow, this card is not the best. But then I saw spell counter and I was like, okay, this card's okay for this. I'm glad I played it now. Not damn, I screwed that up bad. Well, to be fair, I thought it was literally only if it declared. I did I'm not mad. I did not know that it was if an attack is declared at all. Uh, it's not great. What the shit is this card? You said cards. Do other ones you go can I talk also again the over there? Why you like monster back? Oh, that boy big. Yeah, he's kind of big. Um, it, I don't think it's enough, though. You see, with every attack, I grow stronger. Yeah. I just realized, why did I put the power of the guardians in the fucking pendulum zone? God damn it. I don't know. <laughs> uh -oh. I think you just wanted it to be next to him. Battle off. I shouldn't token. have left the token on board. Ugh. I, I hate know, it. I'm stronger. I pass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that does not help. Wee wee. Bah. Aha, uh -huh. this is just spicy barrier statue beatdown, bitch. <laughs> I'm grumpy. <laughs> Punch! Oh, it's not, it has to be sent by card. It's not even by battle. What the fuck? Yeah. Okay, so we have quite a bit of counters. I think we can. Yeah, I threw this. Ah, oh, man. All my viewers are going to be so sad. <laughs> yeah, nah, it's game. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Fuck you! I'm back! Me! <laughs> me! <laughs> and it only took me just uh, not reading anything. Oh, I'm so uh, disappointed. 
<laughs> oh man, yeah, this deck is something. Uh, I the card there are some very good cards like Cerberus and Jackal King, and then there's cards like Medusa that suck ass. Like the extra deck, I literally didn't. I was playing like. The only extra card that like makes the most sense is Daybreaker because it's like a spell counter card. But I was also playing like Hope Magician, Cat, like Norito, the Moral Leader. Okay, I like that card. Oh my god! So and in my, my side deck, I had three Breaker, the Magical Warrior, in case things got a little too control heavy for my taste. So I'll tell you what my deck was. I actually built um so it was Clock Dragon OTK. And the idea is there's a clock lizard who you can kind of turbo out and he banishes stuff from your graveyard diffusion. Mm -hmm. So you can get like very easily like an eight or nine or even 10 material clock dragon. And it has like 25,000 attack. My God. <laughs> yeah. It like I, I labbed out the combos, but it just didn't work out that way. This game. But that was the plan. And then I also had kind of like, of course, the usual like smokescreen into uh, what you call uh, Deco Talker Heat Soul mm -hmm. to for game two. But yeah, it just didn't didn't line up for me. You had some interruption, which kind of threw me off. And that power of the guardians. Jesus, dude, that that is such a crazy card. I. I did not expect it to put in work. And I do have to say, your deck did stuff despite, you know, losing its best boss and its best spell card. Yeah, it was pretty decent. I, I know yeah, for like, me, uh, this, this deck is very wonky. It's spell, the institution card, phenomenal. All its other spell and traps. That's banned. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, God. Codex says hi. Ah, uh, you know, that's fair. It's fair <laughs> to see that card go. I mean, it's the fact that it's since all your stuff destroys itself already, you're just getting so many spell counters. And then the fact that it adds any, protects itself. it protects itself. It adds any monster that you can place a spell counter on. It is literally not limited to anything just by the amount of spell counters you have to. And it does have to remove it from itself just from the field. Which is yeah. crazy. So that is an understandable ban. <laughs> yeah, it's just like bury the lead on that. That's gone. All right. Well, hopefully I can still do stuff in the fog. We will. We will just have to see, I suppose. Hopefully but this will be another JD situation. Hopefully, shut shut up. I don't want to relive that. That was horrible. <laughs> nah, that was it horrible. was fun. Well, all righty. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. We hope you enjoyed. And we will see you the next one. Later, guys. Bye.